Hey yo, what's up? It's your boy Captain Cowboy and your boy Swag back with another video. Back with that remix. We got building enhancements tonight. Let's go ahead and uh, talk about how to utilize all the orbs of trial that we talked about in our last video in the Iron Throne Beginner's Guide mini series. So we're going to take a look here at our enhancement of the prison. The prison is giving us that beautiful troop attack, troop defense, and troop health increase. No matter what troop setup you are utilizing, pull up on that prison. Okay? Prison is going to be helpful in any situation, no matter what you're utilizing, because those benefits help you. Now, moving on over to the altar, we're going to be getting that enemy troop defense debuff, which is, again, helpful on any set of gear, but it also increases the execution buff effect, so you have research increasing that execution buff effect. You have the level of the altar increasing that execution buff effect, so there's a lot of great ways to improve that execution buff effect. Kill a guy, kill like a small farm, you get that buff, and then you go ham. 20,000 gold to do that. Um, if we take a look over at our watchtower here, ladies and gentlemen, we get enemy troop attack debuff of a lot and siege defense so this is a great enhancement level as well because we're getting that troop attack debuff that's helping us on attack and defense as well as siege defense to help us a lot on that defense of our citadel if we look at our citadel it's going to be for construction speed so this is good if you want to go ahead and get some nice easy levels up on if we move over to the command center it's going to be giving us enemy infantry leveraged attack debuff as well as a infantry defense. So, what we want to take away from this is the enemy infantry leverage attack debuff is good if you have a cavalry set of gear. However, if you have an infantry set of gear, which everyone does, this infantry defense is going to be good for you. So this is a good building to enhance if you have cavalry or if you have infantry. And if you have cavalry, you most likely have both sets of gear. Temple does not have anything. If we look at the academy, it's going to be giving us research speed, as we could imagine. If we look at the Hall of War over here, it's going to be giving us enemy troop health debuff. It's going to be giving us rally troop defense buff. And it's also going to... Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know why I kept talking. Anyway, what I do want to point out, though, is when we upgrade this, you'll notice that at first it only takes a little bit of silver and some orbs of trial. However, after we hit level 20, we want to go to 21. Now it starts costing resources, and it costs a lot of resources. So this becomes kind of a bear down to some people once you get up to the higher levels. So I am actually going to stop upgrading here, but this is when we would unlock that rally troop defense buff. Now, moving on to the embassy, we are going to be getting reinforcements defense so this is increasing the strength of people reinforcing us and then beyond level 21 at 21 we're going to unlock rally troop attack buff so this is great if you're going to be rallying different players within the kingdom all right now if we take a look at our training grounds we're going to have to go ahead and speed this up so bear with me while i speed up all of my troop trainings you know what screw it I'm not gonna do that we're gonna go ahead and take a look at our enhance section so we're getting infantry attack and infantry health so obviously this is pretty straightforward but if you have infantry you're gonna be wanting to utilize the infantry building enhancements if we have archers we're gonna want to upgrade this archer enhancement level and we're getting the archer attack and the archer health if we're doing calf you guessed it we're upgrading our siege no I'm just kidding um, if, we're up, if we have cav, we're going to be upgrading the cav building, and if we have um, any siege for defense, like if we're doing a siege type trap, we would want to upgrade our siege workshop as well. Now, forge does not have any enhancements, neither does our inn. Inn has no enhancements, but when we get over to our warehouse, we do have some enhancements. We're getting enemy cavalry leveraged attack but debuffs and cavalry defense um, so this is going to be good for infantry. Warehouse is good for infantry because we are debuffing, actually archers, my bad. This is good for archers because we're debuffing the leverage that the cavalry have against the archers. And then it also is good for cavalry as well because you're getting that cavalry, cavalry buff. Now if we take a look at our wall, 
wall is going to be giving us enemy archer leverage attack debuff. So this is good if we have infantry. And it's also giving us archer defense if we have archers. So this is, again, good for archers and good for infantry. So take a look at what kind of gear sets you're going to be running and which buildings apply to that and try to focus those. Now, if you are in a state of just growth and you're not really focused on stats right at the moment, you could go ahead and pump up your different rewards, um, your different stats for construction speed as well as research speed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this video, want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen and also reach out to me if you are interested in joining the playtest for Iron Throne, any of the ways listed below. Thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy signing off. Thank you.